Music Access. Are you guys okay? Are you still in shock? Our fluttering hearts were just settling down after hearing about Wonbin and Inayong's surprise secret wedding, but now this. I bet news that Big Bang's Taeyang is also dating someone was a big shocker for everyone yesterday, right? Taeyang's been singing Loser, Wetori, Sangchapunin, Mojori everywhere he went, but it turns out it's a lie. He's not a loser or a loner, he's dating someone, and it's none other than actress Min Hyorin. Gosh, life seems so unfair now. Mm. There's Baeyongjun and Park Soojin, Won Bin and Lee Na Young, and now Taeyang and Min Hyo Rin. What's going on? What do they have that I don't, that we don't? Let's all gather up our strength to remedy this situation. We can do it! There's a popular expression in Korea these days, and let me sing it for all of us. You guys! Himaleo Super Power! What's up? The first song you heard today, Tuesday, June 3rd, 2015, was Wrapped Up by Ollie Muirs featuring Travi McCoy. What's up, music access bros and sisses? It's like everyone is getting in relationships these days. Although, technically, no one's really getting into a relationship. It's just that relationships are being found out. So, you know, we touched on the whole Wonbin Nayong, and then there's the whole Baeyongjun, Park Soojin, and now Taeyang and Min Hyo Rin. And I actually, you know, Taeyang is one of my favorite artists in Korea. And so, uh, you know, congratulations to uh, both of them on a beautiful relationship. Uh, I'm sure that they will, uh, you know, date wonderfully. And uh, it all puts things in perspective now. The whole Sebya uh, Kanshi 1am, that music video. The whole Nun Koi music video. It's very, very, it's a very, very romantic gesture, I feel like. Although, granted, I don't know if that was just like a casting thing or that was just like he called it out. Anyways, long story short, congratulations, Taeyang Min Hyorin, and I wish you all the best in your relationship. Now, moving on and passing my jealousy, let me tell you what's up for today. For the first hour, we have our daily corner that allows you guys to travel in time. Time Traveler's Mailbox and All About Music Quiz Season 2, Binge Style, in store. And in the second hour, our Monday guest Tasha and Tuesday guest Jane are here together for our brand new Wednesday Corner. I hope you guys stick around to find out what kind of chemistry the three of us will have together. Our Wednesday Corner concept is to find out what men and women are really thinking through Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus. The Corner title's a little long, so we'll call it MMWV or Mars Venus for short on your messages if you want to post something up there. Here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio app on your smartphones, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website, www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess, and leave your messages there on our message board. You can also see our broadcast in real time. Woo! Okay, now, another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeon. And remember, if you have any songs you want to hear today, or a song you want to let someone hear as a gift, go ahead and send those requests onto our message board under the subject title, Request. Alright, we'll come right back after a song for message time. The song is If It's Alright by Katie Goes to Tokyo. We're back, and it's time... For message time, the song we just heard was If It's Alright by Katie Goes to Tokyo. And our first message comes from Andina from Indonesia, saying, Good afternoon, Benji. How are you? It's lunchtime here, so I can tune in to your program. My day is going smooth today, and I feel bored. Thanks for cheering me with your voice. Your opening makes me up. Have a nice day, Benji. Andina from Indonesia. That's right. Oh my gosh, you know, this opening, this whole brand news with Taeyang and all that stuff. It's very, very big news because it's kind of like a sort of my generation um, top idol. And, you know, all this news came out because he's never had a relationship article, you know, come up. And, you know, he's very, I guess, really good about that. And, you know, it's just it's weird how it randomly came up like this. But, uh, you know, 
Taeyang support his music. Min Hyo Din support her acting. She's great. And we have Yuki Tang from Vietnam saying, No, I'm not okay, Benji. Ah, because I see you wear a hoodie, but it's very hot today. That's right, I'm wearing a hoodie. This is my hoodie. Woo, woo, woo. The J. And uh, it's actually hot, but um, my inside shirt is too small. Or not too small, but it's, it's, there's no sleeves, so it's too hot. That's what it is. So um, it's kind of cold if I don't wear the hoodie. But don't worry, because in our studio here, it's actually very, very, uh, it's mediocrely hot. I mean, I might sweat a little bit, but I always sweat anyway. And we have Eminur, Eminur from Turkey saying, Hi Benji, my life is so, so boring. My only joy is sending messages to you, and this is really pretty good. I can talk to you, and you make me happy. Thank you for that. Take care of yourself, and have a good day. I love you. Yes! If you're bored, go ahead and listen to Music Access for a very, very good time, because we always have fun here, and my joy is sending energy to y'all. So, today, get ready for energy, yup. And we have Jenny from the USA saying, Hey Benji, how's your day been so far? My day has been long. It's almost 1am and I'm still stuck at work for probably another hour or so. I hope your day is better than mine. I can't wait to go home and relax. Oh my gosh, you're still working for another hour? So then that's working past... No, na 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 See, I made a little Taeyang reference there. Today is like a Taeyang day almost. Anyways, so, no, but, uh, you know, good luck with work and don't push yourself too hard. And when you get home, make sure the first thing you do is brush your teeth. Because you always need to brush your teeth before you sleep for good oral hygiene. And we have Maud from Thailand saying, Benji Opa, how are you today? Last night there was a blackout at my dormitory for an hour. I couldn't do anything, just sat in the darkness and waited for the light, and now I feel so bad and I don't know why. Or maybe I miss you too much. Can you make me smile? Have a nice day, Benji. <sighs> blackouts, blackouts, blackouts. I used to be really scared of blackouts, actually, because I couldn't see anything in the dark. And I'm I'm not afraid quite with the what's in the dark. Or I'm not afraid of the dark itself, but what could be in the dark potentially. Because I always had this like fear of monsters when I was growing up, but now it's just, that doesn't exist as much. And I feel like maybe part of the reason that you feel a little bit down is because after a blackout, you tend to just kind of get used to the darkness, and then it's, you know, being in the dark is a little bit, you know, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's a very, uh, it's a very different feeling than when you're in a lot of light. So hopefully, you know, enjoy some light time, you know, in the day, go out and uh, do something fun or something, and get something delicious to eat. That always helps me, so I'm sure it will help you as well. And thanks to everyone for sending your messages to Message Time. Now let's check out a song before we come back with Time Traveler's Mailbox. The song is My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark by Fall Out Boy. Time Traveler's Mailbox Our special daily corner, Time Traveler's Mailbox, will let all of you bring back special memories by revisiting your past. First, write down the date that you want to time travel to, then let us know why you chose that date and where you'll be, what you'll be doing, and who you'll be with when you travel in time. If you want to participate, just write time travel on your title and leave us your message on our message board. And our first time traveler is Andrea Kett from Australia. And she wants to travel to the 3rd of July, 1991. It says, When my little sister was born and dad came back to pick us up to take us to the hospital, which was a three-hour drive from the farm where we lived, I still remember the excitement when mom put that pink bundle in my arms to hold and I was really proud to be an older sister once more. My little brother's look on his face is so visit vivid in my memory even now when he looked at our new sister in disgust. He was really not excited to have another sister, which caused me to tell him that there's nothing wrong with having sisters. Hi, birthing and siblings and all this stuff. You know, I don't have any siblings, but 
I can kind of picture <laughs> your little brother's expression and what he might have looked like. Um, but I heard that when siblings grow up, that kind of sibling bond is something that's unbreakable and it's completely amazing. And uh, that's something that I'm actually a little bit jealous about because I'd really like to have siblings. You know, growing up, it was one of the things that I really, really wanted to have. But, you know, have, being an only child now, it's not bad, you know. There's a lot of perks and uh, I get, you know, love from my parents as well. So it's a good experience. So then when your little sister was born, that's 1991. So your little sister must be... Oh, she's one year older than me then, actually. Wow. So she's still pretty young. Because we're all pretty young. So, congratulations on the birth of your sister in 1991. And uh, her birthday is in a little over a month. So I guess you should start preparing a birthday present. Hint, 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 Andrea. So, good luck with your sister's birthday plans. And it's good to hear about this memory, you know. Although the little brother <laughs> is pretty funny. Alright, now let's listen to a song and come back with another message for our Time Traveler's Mailbox. The song requested by Malaysia's and Sophie is Shake It Off, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. We're back, and the song you just heard was Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. And Time Traveler's Mailbox? Let's meet our second time traveler, Wilma Stevens from Australia. And says, Hi Benji and all the wonderful Music Access family. My name is Wilma, and I'm from Australia. For today's time travel, I'd like to go to this day in five years' time. So five years into the future. I'd like to hope for everyone the best of health and happiness and that everyone can follow their dreams and wherever we may end up to be, satisfied with our circumstances and surrounded by lots of love, family, and friends. Where do you and what do you think you'll be doing in five years' time, Benji? Five years from now. So then, I've been an idol for almost in one month, actually. In one month and... Five days. It'll be exactly our one year anniversary since we debuted. Then in five years from now, it'll be almost our six year um, anniversary. Which means B.I.G. will have been promoting for six years. And uh, what will I be doing then? I mean, assuming that B.I.G.'s been promoting for six years, obviously we'll have a lot more albums out. Uh, we'll be super, super successful. Um, I'll have released a solo album, maybe two, uh, that I have produced. Um, what else is there? Uh, I might have, uh, already started going into Hollywood, maybe. You know, maybe been nominated for my first Grammy. Mm. <laughs> These are all just big dreams that I'm just hoping for in the future. Because, as you guys know, um, I do have huge, huge, huge plans. And, uh... I have a lot of drive. So as of right now, five years into the future, honestly, I can't picture exactly where I'll be and what I'll, I'll be doing. But the thing that I can promise is that it'll be doing big things. Because as it is now, this is a start, not just for B.I.G., but also for Benji. And so five years into the future, you know, hopefully we'll be doing things on a much, much, much bigger scale. Yes. Alright, so I hope you guys fill up the mailbox for tomorrow's Time Traveler's Mailbox. And Time Traveler's Mailbox is for things like if you miss the date to congratulate someone or propose to your loved one for the future, or if you have any plans for the future that you want to share, go ahead and send us a letter to Time Traveler's Mailbox. If you want to do that, all you need to do is come visit us at www adirangradio.com slash music access and leave me a message on our message board with the title Time Traveler. Alright, we'll come right back after a song for All About Music Season 2 Benji Style. The song requested by Canada's Genie is See You Again by Wiz Khalifa featuring Charlie Puth. From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you
music and all about quizzes, a great collaboration of music and quizzes, all about music quiz. There's something you guys need to focus on during All About Music Quiz Season 2. It's Benji's Hint! I'm going to be giving you guys a really critical hint, but there's nothing really set on what kind of hint it'll be. I'll be thinking about what hint to give you guys after listening to today's answer and checking it out, so it'll be a very impromptu hint, very Benji style, right? Because I do it freestyle. So make sure to look forward to my hint every day on All About Music Quiz Season 2. Listen carefully, and once you feel like you know the answer, write answer on your title and post it up on our message board. And as always, we have one gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Mika's album, No Place in Heaven, provided to us by Universal Music. So, what is today's AA Music Quiz answer? The answer for today is... Let me check it out. Uh, hmm... Okay, so today's answer is in the format of a song title. So, for our first hint, uh, I'm just going to let you guys listen to this song. Alrighty? Can I get that beat? Forget about the... Uh, I'll give you a hint. The answer is not cheese sandwich, and the answer is not panda or Benji. Alright, so, if you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Remember, the answer is this song's title. Alright, we'll check out a song and come back with the second hint for Double A Music Quiz. The song is requested by Vietnam's Kim Tian. It's na 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 Paradise by Infinite. We just heard Paradise by Infinite, and it's time for All About Music Quiz Season 2, Benji Style, for the second hint. The first hint, we gave out a quick music hint. We played part of the answer, which is the song today. And now the second hint, now it's time for Benji's hint, and today we have a situational hint. So, for example, um, let's see. Let's say I have a term. Like, let's say the term is eating. Then I'm going to act out how the answer is. So I'm like, Mmm, mmm, this steak is so good. Mmm, so good. What am I doing? I'm, mm-hmm, that's what would be the answer. So similar to that, um, I'm going to act out how men react when they see this, which is today's answer, on luxury designer bags their girlfriend wants as a present. So remember, our answer today is a noun. It's a term. So, if I saw this on a luxury designer bag, I'd be like, Really? This, uh-huh, is so expensive. I mean, I mean, just looking at the uh-uh and what's written on this uh-uh, there's so much, I mean, can't we just, like, go to, like, like the street and I'll just get you, like, a plastic bag, you know, plastic bag, man, I'm broke. And here's how women react when they read this on luxury sports cars. Oma! Opa! This, uh-huh, is so... So expensive, but, you know, I really want to get it. Can you get it for me? I really, the number written on this, uh uh-uh, is really expensive, but I know we can, we can get it. Let's get a sports car. Yes. So, uh, to give you another hint, just in case the uh, first two hints were a little vague, um, the answer for today is two words, and it rhymes with, um... Mice brag. Alright, so, if you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Mika's album, No Place in Heaven, provided to us by Universal Music. Alright, before we move on, let's check out one more song. The song requested by Nihon's Mika is Rally Pauli, Rally Rally Pauli by Tiara.
The song we just heard was Roly Poly by Tiara. Now it's time for message time. Yes, and our first message comes from Natalie from Poland saying, Yo, Benji, how are you? I have my final exam for Korean Padum and I'm so nervous. Encourage me and tell me something to cheer me up. Love you. Natalie. 오늘 시험 화이팅 잘할 수 있어? 화이팅 화이팅 발음도 되게 정확히 하면 돼? 나처럼 하지 말고. Yeah. Good luck on your exam. Um, I'm sure you'll do well in your pronunciation, but don't talk like me because my pronunciation isn't that good. <laughs> it's well, I'm working on it. And we have Isabel from the Philippines saying, Hello, Benji. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. By the way, Benji, there's something I want to ask out of all the days in one week. Is there a specific day that you somehow like? In my case, it's Wednesday because I get to see a lot of babies at work because it's vaccination day for them. Ah, babies. Hard, hard, hard. How about you, Benji? Um, I don't actually have a day like that. Like, there's not a specific day where I'm like, hmm, you know, this is a good day. But uh, I like nighttime. Nights and uh, not weekend nights as much, but just weekday nights and just going outside and um, breathing in the air, you know, checking the area around me. It's very calming, it's a very good uh, thing, you know. So, I guess it's uh, weekend nights, but not really specifically. Kind of, there's not a day though for me. And we have Shreya Talukder from Bangladesh saying, Hello, Benji, finally my exam is over. Yes, I'm happy that I can tune in to MA every day. I missed you a lot for the past few days, and I hope you're doing good. Oh, I forgot to tell you that my friend Sandra is busy today, so she can't tune in. But she said to me to tell you that, Benji, I'm going to miss you today, but I'll be here tomorrow, all right? And yeah, don't forget about me. Mm, who's Sandra? I don't know who Sandra is. You know, I already must have forgotten. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but congratulations on the end of your exams. Let's celebrate with a song. The exam is over, and now it's over, so now go party and turn up to the beat, yeah, yeah, now it's over, go get some cake and ice cream, and celebrate every day, yay! That was the celebration song freestyled by Benji on Music Access First Hour. But congratulations, and take a break by tuning into Music Access, and just chilling out by, you know, eating cake and uh, drinking fizzy champagne or fizzy bubbly fruit drinks and we have kana from japan saying hi dj benji how are you today all in caps today is a day off for me yeah so i'm listening to ma yesterday i went to the concert of nickelback so much fun amazing time they're cool benji did you go to the concert recently whose concert have you ever seen that was the best love you xoxo kana you know I actually haven't been to a lot of um, like pop music concerts. I went to classical music concerts before that were also really cool. But for me, when I first came to Korea, there were two concerts that I went to within my first six months. The first was a Super Junior concert, which was very, very good. You know, they're really good on stage. They've got this poise. And uh, I-, I learned a lot, actually, just watching them and how they perform. It's a really, really good experience. You know, guys, if you haven't seen it, go watch the Super Show because it's cool. And then, other than that, um, I went to the uh, YG Family concert at some point. And so, you know, I saw Big Bang. I saw all this stuff. And it was... It's it's great, actually. Like, you can definitely tell the difference between a kind of a stage performance versus um, the music video or, like, what you're watching via your uh tvs or via you know the whole video sites it's really 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 great to watch them on stage and they did like a collaboration stage um i don't know i can't really pick a best and also just watching you know the music programs live is also to a certain extent a mini concert but uh yeah i'd say they're all good you know when we were debuting beast was promoting with us at the same time and they have this poise that's just crazy i'm just gonna say it's like just crazy anyways we have ashley from spain saying hello cute boy i'm a beginning from spain if you read this i'll be so happy haha <laughs> be happy well, I just wonder if you have any phobias like bugs or anything else. I've got a phobia of needles, although I'm older, I can't watch them. Ottoke haji? What do I have to do? By the way, I'm going to Korea soon. I hope to meet you, so maybe I'll see you and BIG. 
on a schedule when I'm in Korea. <sighs> what do am I afraid of? What am I have afraid of? Oh, I have a phobia actually. Um, a little bit of uh, what do you call it? It's uh, spiders. Spiders are very, very, very scary. And besides spiders, um, I'm also afraid of uh, space aliens. Space aliens are very, very, very scary. And there's things that uh, I just don't really want to deal with, like vegetables and salad. Those are things that I'm very, 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 very afraid of. Those kind of vegetable-oriented foods. It's a joke, by the way. But spiders are not a joke. Spiders are actually very scary. Alright, so thank you to everyone for sending in your messages to Message Time. Let's check out a song before we come back with more. The song is... No Kurigu No by Yusungu and Tarin requested by Mod of Thailand. We're back, and we just heard No Kurigu No by Yusungu and Tarin. And in the middle of the song, in the last 30 seconds, there was like a break in the song. So I was like, oh my god, I have to go on. I was like, <gasps> but then there was actually 30 seconds left in the song. Anyways, so, soon coming up, we do have our corner with Tasha and Jane, our new men are from Mars, women are from Venus. So that'll be fun. Stick around for that because we'll have an awesome time talking about the differences between men and women and also similarities as well because there are actually a surprising lot more than you might think. But before we move on, let's check out who's with us on our message board. We've got Kirin He of Thailand sending a message to Jane. Leon TL93 of Singapore saying, yes, YG Family Concert. My sister won tickets, and I watched them live, too. And I am a big fan of Winner. That's right. I am also a super big fan of Winner. You know, that song was just, like, super, super good when it came out. I remember uh, when I was in my practice room, actually, when that music video on the song came out, I was like, wow. Really, like they're gonna they're gonna blow up with this song, and it wasn't even like a dance track. It just had that whole that mood that was just so crazy. Missy Fee from Malaysia saying, "What are you munching on? I'm hungry. Pego Pio, feed me. I haven't had lunch. I actually did eat lunch, but uh, I'm munching on a cookie, which actually we're not supposed to do because we're not supposed to eat in the studio. But it's okay. We'll keep it a secret between you and me. And so before we wrap up our first hour." Remember, we will have Jane and Tasha with us, so stick around. And to wrap things up, I'll let you hear Let's Go by Calvin Harris featuring Neo. And I will be right back. Yes, yes, we're back, and you're listening to Music Access, and I'm Benji of B.I.G. Welcome to the second hour of the Wednesday edition of Music Access. Soon we'll be back with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphone, and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for our listeners living on Jeju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Taejong. 
We're going to listen to a song and come back with Jane and Tasha for MMWV. The song requested by Malaysia's Amanda is Click Me, Click Click Me by Zion T featuring Toki. Men and women, women and men, how are we different? How are we the same? Let's find out through... Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. <laughs> What's up, Jane and Tasha? What's up? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're meeting our Monday guest, Tasha, and Tuesday guest, Jane, today on Wednesday. Are you guys meeting for the first time today? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, <laughs> what's your first impression of each other? Because you must have been outside, you know, mm-hmm. waiting a little bit, you know. Um, why don't you go first? <laughs> oh, um, well, like, I have I actually asked, like, Aaron mm-hmm. before today. I was like, so I'm, um, you know, hosting this segment with Tasha. Mm-hmm. What is she like? And he was like, oh, she's really, really nice. You sure he said that? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, is there is there something mm-hmm. else? <laughs> and then, um... When uh, 15 and was mm. uh, covering up for Aaron for mm. a while, they explained to me how small your face is. And you're like a squirrel. Mm. Hey, you get joke with me. Her face is seriously small, guys. Yeah, mm. it's almost as small as mine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, you're like you're like killing the vibe right no, now. No, you know what? You're killing my vibe. All right. So, what was your first impression of Jane, Tasha? Well, before I came in today, I checked out a lot of videos, mm-hmm. like, Ooh. of her singing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, I was kind of looking forward to meet her mm-hmm. and hear her singing live. Oh. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, speaking of singing live, I actually heard you're very good at beatboxing as well. Mm. <laughs> I am, actually. Thank you for noticing. Hey. No, I'm Don't talking about to touch. touch. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's actually really good though. It's actually Thank something you. a talent that I found recently as well. You know, it mm-hmm. hasn't been that long. So she encouraged you to. No, it's the opposite. Oh. No, for her. She's oh, good at beatboxing. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you started it because of her. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, 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 like, <laughs> so no, it's like I it's found out she down. was good at beatboxing. I was like, oh, we should do it more on the show. Mm-hmm. Oh right. Like that. Now you get it. Mm-hmm. Okay, ah. Can you show us a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, just like you know, mm-hmm. short clip. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Yeah. All right, Jane, your turn. Beatbox. Go! Boom! Chicky box. <laughs> yeah! <So> Swag. <laughs> All right. So, um, do you guys have any questions? Well, I mean, you guys already kind of like you know got the whole introduction down. You know, you mm-hmm. looked at her videos. You asked about her. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, I was also mm-hmm. told that you're not Korean. Yes, I'm from Singapore. Oh, mm. I've been to Singapore. Oh, was it good? It's so clean there. Mm. So green, and everyone's clean, so polite. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good to go there. I want to go back. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you from again? Um, I was born and raised in Hong Kong, and then I moved to England uh. for uni, and then I'm here. Oh. <laughs> 我们都说汉语. No, Hong Kong is a different language, yeah. right? Sorry, sorry. 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 Yeah. yeah. Wait, you speak, wait, Cantonese. Cantonese, right. right. And I'm speaking Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm. different. And you can speak a little Cantonese. Just a little bit. Oh. Wow. So you guys have that kind of thing going on. Oh, my son <laughs> speaks Cantonese. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> so this is our Music Access mascot. Mm. Oh, this is new. We're still thinking of names for him. Hand him gently, gently. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of, can you recommend a name for him? Mm. Anything, anything. Off the top of your head. Hmm, We're not I deciding now. Benji not, Jr. I, <laughs> Benji Jr. I, I, <laughs> this is why you can't ask girls about names. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, now that we've met each other. Oh, I, by the way, you guys are meeting each other for the first time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, do you have any questions for me? No. no. Okay. <laughs> so now that, now that we're all here, the three of us, it might be a little awkward. I, I feel like it's not. It's already, you guys are already comfortable. And it's, I can already sense this. I thought that we started this corner, it was going to be very like one on one on one. And we're all talking about each other. But I can already tell it's two versus one now. Yeah. It's, it's girls versus guys. We should have just called it girls versus guys. Girls versus boy. No, I boy. actually thought this was going to be the corner where we get to hit Benji. Mm. <laughs> Why would that? Where would you get that from the title? The title is "Men Are from Mars, Women Are from Venus." So I thought it was like a debate sort of corner. Mm. So we we get to hit Benji. I mean, if Yay. no, we could. If you want, we could like work out a system where we could play a game. But I'm pretty sure that That'd I'd win fun. the game, 
And you guys would get hit. I'm just Highly saying. Highly doubt that. You know, I'm very good at games. You know? No, but we've That's got right. girl power. Girl power? You, you can never ignore the girl power. That doesn't matter when it comes to games, because games are one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. It's two on no, one. No, no, no. You never know. Like, we're capable of um, teamwork, you know. I mean, <laughs> behind I mean, your back. <sighs> oh, see, guys. Anyway, <laughs> you guys see what I deal with, right? Now that we've got that girl power, this is. We'll go into our corner now. <laughs> so, this is a brand new quarter. We're starting today. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus with Jane and Tasha, or MMWV for short. So, can you guys tell us what this corner is about and how our listeners can participate? All right, so let me start first. And, um,. This is called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, or MMWV for short. And it's all about just having a sh comfortable conversation with friends about relationships, friendship, and the general tendencies for men and women. You know how sometimes when you're with your friends, you ask questions like, Do men really do that? Or are women really like that? Right? Mm. Yes. So that's exactly what this corner is about. We're going to talk about those questions here, to, so send them into us under the title MMWV. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, from your own experiences, if you felt like men and women were really different in a certain situation, for example, if you feel the way women and men enjoy sports is really different, let us know. All you need to do is write MMWV on your title and send us a message. That is true. Mm -hmm. But before we continue, we have some reactions to our lovely ladies joining us in the studio. Ooh. We got myself. You want to read one at a time each? Okay. Yeah, first, sure. second, third. All right. So, who's first? I am first. Oh, I'm okay. always first. Okay. I'm the host of this show. No, uh -huh. So, we got myself from the Philippines saying, Ooh. Hello, Mother Chicken and Tasha. Mother Chicken. I'm so excited for the new Wednesday segment. The segment sounds fun. Don't let Benji win over you, okay? Girl power, woohoo, but I still Ooh. love you, Benji. I'm just on Team Venus now. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's Mother Chicken? Oh, that's, that's me. Cause <laughs> Is your nickname? <laughs> yeah, it's, that's it's before sort I was here, of oh, like really? my nickname. Because I always like greet my... The listeners like hi chickens and stuff. Oh, so yeah, they call me cute. mother chicken. <laughs> mother chicken. We we should start calling our listeners pandas. Sorry. All right, moving see, on. See, 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 <laughs> well, I'm not, all right, moving on. Okay. <laughs> so, Am I next? Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. We have Yuki Tang from Vietnam. Oh my God, Jane and Tasha, unbelievable! Two lovely girls joining together. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. I love both of you so much, and I'm looking forward to the girls' team. Show Benji the power of the girls, <laughs> fighting Mommy Jen and lovely Tasha. Yes. Woo! Girl power, you see Bring that? It. Bring it! Yeah! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, so the last message was from Huyan Poo Poo from Vietnam. Hello! Annyeonghaseya! So. <laughs> I am so happy to see you today. Yay, yay, yay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. My cutest girls are both at MA now. Have fun and be closer, dears. I love you too much. I know that our mother chicken still keeps mm -hmm. showing us live. So how do you think about the collaboration, Jane and Tasha? <laughs> Tasha Ooh. can beatbox and Jane will sing and rap. Benji, too. Let's do it together. Awesome. Love you all. Kiki and Poo from Vietnam. Wow. I don't know if you guys noticed when reading this message, but... <laughs> Now we're starting. I'm like the afterthought now. Jane and Tasha. <laughs> Tasha can beatbox and Jane can sing and rap. Oh, oh, ben oh and Benji. And Benji oh, yeah, Benji. You know, I'm okay right, with that. You. No, it's okay. I'm cool with that. Anyway, so uh, the Tuesday corner with some Jane was focused on relationships, but this corner will give us more room to talk about not just relationship issues, but friendship issues and other general stuff that has to do with men and women in general. So we'll be looking forward to your messages. But. Before we start the corner, we have to do something first. Hmm. What do we have to do? Uh, Listen to your life performance. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Can't wait. So, Tasha and I, as well as our listeners, can all sit back and relax and enjoy the performance. Let's give Jane a round of applause. Woo! All right, this song is called Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Mm. It's quite old, but I just love this song, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. <laughs> Mama told me when I was young, we are all born superstars. She wore my hair and put my lipstick on in a glass of her boudoir. There's nothing wrong with loving who you are, she said, cause he made you perfect, babe. So hold your head up, girl, and you'll go far. Listen to me when I say. Cause God makes no mistakes 
Cause I'm on the right track Baby, I was born this way Don't hide yourself in regret Just love yourself and you're set I'm on the right track Baby, I was born this way There ain't no other way Baby, I was born this way Baby, I was born this way Oh, there ain't no other way Baby, I was born this way Right track, baby, I was born this way Thank you. <laughs> but Jane, were you really born this way? Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> original, <Wow>. man. Original. <laughs> I, no, I almost said a brand. Anyways, so now before we move on, let's check out a song. The song is 오늘부터 1일 by K-Will. 너를 사랑해. Guess who I'm saying that to? Neither mm-hmm. of you. It's to all our listeners. <laughs> Alright, moving uh, on. So, <laughs> we're here with Jane and Tasha for Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, or MMWV. So, Tasha, mm-hmm. can you read our first message, please? Okay. We have Migumi from Japan. Mm-hmm. I always feel like men and women are different when I look at cell phones. Mm. I've been wanting to get a new phone lately, so I've been asking my friends if I can take a look at their phones. It seems like that my girlfriends have really neatly organized phones. Everything is in their own place, their apps are in different folders and stuff. Sometimes, they say that it's too neat so they have trouble finding certain apps. On the other hand, my guy friends, first off, they always have their phones on vibration mode. They almost always just maintain the settings that the phone comes with, so they don't change the background picture or anything like that. But my girlfriends always have pictures of their favorite stars or celebrities they want to be like as their background image. Also, there's a smartphone case. Girls spend a lot of money buying cute cute cases and stuff, but guys always never uses, use cases. They keep things as simple as possible, don't you agree? I wonder what your cell phone looks like. What do you have as your background image? What kind of apps do you have? Do you use a smartphone case or bumper? Share with us. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? What do you? Hmm. What do you? Th- well, I think it's true that you know if the phone is there, it's kind of obvious. Like it, if it belongs to a girl or a guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, does it? Well, I mean, okay. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. <laughs> um, reading this, when it comes to apps, mm-hmm. I think there's di- always oh, there, there has to be different apps. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna download an app that shows where the latest you know, you know, girl clothes sales are. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Right? And you guys are probably not going to download an app that shows how much muscle you've gained in the last, you know, 30 days. Mm-hmm. No, but I do. Oh, <laughs> really? No, mu- not wow. muscle, but like, in terms like, of, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, fitness. Mm-hmm. We all want to be fit. So. Yep. Okay, <laughs> he's like looking, he's checking himself out. Um, okay, then, what is your current background? Background? Yeah, for like, whether it's a phone, an iPad, any kind of device. Is it the preset background, or did you make your own background? I made my own background. It's like a dog, you know, in the, oh, in the shape oh, of a little so rat. Cute. Right? Wow, wow, that's so cute. <laughs> I just found it on, you know, the internet and just put it on. So wow. do, do you do mostly pictures of, like, animals and cute stuff mm-hmm. that you find then? And mostly of my members, too. Member? Really? Like, oh, just, wow. just my member. Yeah, I'm like that as well. Like, I use pictures mm-hmm. of, like, you know, myself and my friends. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The crazy pictures. <laughs> what is it now? My iPad is a picture of my favorite singer, Rita Ora. Oh. So, yeah. I agree with her when she says favorite, favorite singer, celebrities. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. I guess that's the difference between girls and guys. Guys tend to... Well, no, it's weird because my members, you know what their background is? What? Pictures of themselves. Oh. But that's a, that's a that's new very, thing. It's very Guido. <laughs> For guys. And then my phone background is usually the preset. Or, oh. like, my device background, rather. Mm-hmm. And, um, other than that, if it's not the preset background, it's pictures of food. Mm. <gasps> Just because, um, you know, there's not really a celebrity that I'd put on my phone background. It's just, it's, you know, it's, it's not for me, that style. Mm-hmm. And then, other than that, you know, I'm not going to put cars on there. I'm not going to put, you know, models or, you know, fashion or anything. So, I just take it, like, recently, actually, my background was chicken. I eat chicken? Like fried chicken. Oh, like, you know, the food? Like the eating oh, fried chicken. Okay. <laughs> wow. And then before that, it was uh, the samgyeopsal. Oh. That's so random. Yeah. yeah. He's, so, he's so weird. But, I mean, most guys, I feel like, don't put a lot of attention to, like, personalizing mm. their phones or anything. Yeah, like, I mean, right. I set my phone, like, I put them in files. Mm. So then I know, okay. and, like, I title it, you know, like, organizers mm. or, like, social apps. Uh-huh. And, like, what else is there? I don't know. Wait, Tasha, do you do that too? No. 
Okay, thank God. I'm kind of like different. Oh, well, I'm I like just, that. Mm-hmm. Wait, so you organize your stuff in the folder? Yeah, I organize it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You just kind of lay it all out? Yeah, but it's just all out there. So then, even if you have, like, for example, like four pages of apps, you mm-hmm. just have four pages of apps mm-hmm. and you don't kind of group it up? Yeah, th- that's, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think this is, like, in terms of gender, right? That's, I think not, it's just, that's a style thing, right? Yeah, there. I think it's just how organized you are or mm-hmm. how. Yeah. Moving back to gender mm-hmm. then. Uh-huh. Because this is a gender topic where it's like, you know, I, I do this and you do this. <laughs> um, cases, though. I know Case. not a lot of guys use cases. Not a lot? Not a lot. I thought... Really? Do uh, do your guys' friends use cases? Yeah, my Most guy friend, like, he invests a lot of money in phone cases. Really? Yep. Mm. What about you? Most of them Tasha. have cases. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm I, I'm not a guy anymore, I guess. I'm just, <laughs> I, I don't know guys. I'm not a good guy representative. No, but then it really depends, like, on, on the, the style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, so if you do use a phone case, for example, girls, they tend to buy cases with, like, their favorite characters, mm-hmm. or it's all sparkly. Uh-huh. Right, right. And, like, Tasha... Mine's just simple. It's Yeah, it's, like, pink. Red, pink, red, red. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like guys, they just keep it simple. It's either white or black. Mm-hmm. White, and black. Right. <laughs> white, white and black. Here we go. <laughs> white or black, or white and black, mm-hmm. or it's just very, very simple. simple. Uh-huh. So I think that's I agree. true. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to phones, though, you know what I think is really interesting, though, as well. I really think that the kind of devices that people get are also very kind of there. There's a certain like there's mm. something there. Like I can't say because you know, for example, the fruit phone. You guys know what the fruit phone is, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's just universal because there's only one type there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then when you go to other devices and spread out, like a long time ago mm-hmm. when we had, like, the flip phone generation, right, yeah, yeah. you know, and the whole, like, the sliding phone. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I remember in junior high, a lot of my guys were using, um, like, the, how do, how do you, you know, the, the shaving phone, the one that's, like, super thin. What's that? There's a phone that was super, super thin that came out that was, like, revolutionary at the time. Oh! Wait, th- does it start with an M? Mm, the brand does. Yeah. Yes. I know what M? you're talking about now. <laughs> but, um, like, no, a lot of how guys picked phones was the design and how sharp and how sleek it was. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, it's about what you can do with the device. You know, right. how many videos I can watch, how long the battery lasts. Mm-hmm. But before that, when it was all about the appearance and mm-hmm. things were getting smaller, I remember girls would use the kind of, the very shiny, very kind Cute. of, fashion-esque phones mm-hmm. and guys would use the phones that are very kind of toned down very you know sharp yeah you know so i think a lot of that's changed ex- ac- actually recently mm-hmm. just because of the fact phones have changed so much mm-hmm. right. so really when it comes to the applications people use or um the kind of social networking things that people do via their phones mm-hmm. it's actually becoming a lot more similar just because honestly a phone isn't a phone anymore a phone's a computer. Right? Yeah. You know, now a smartphone is a computer. Camera too. Mm-hmm. Which means it's to the point where, you know, no ma- you can't really differentiate between a guy's computer and a girl's computer. Mm-hmm. Almost, I think. So true. And also, like, the the ringtones mm. we use. I mean, guys, I know a lot of my guy friends, they're not bothered to, like, download or to buy, change. like, the ringtones. Guys just use the normal the what, whatever is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas girls were like, we have to use the perfect song, the perfect ringtone for <laughs> us. I'm like that. What is your ringtone? Mine, um, it's it's Live Your Life by Rihanna and I Kanye. Want it on. No, 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 no. Um, so live your life. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Do you yeah. have a ringtone set? Actually, I don't have a lot of phone calls, so I just put in, the, you know, just a yeah. preset thing. Also, like, also like um, for us, because we're not allowed to, obviously, use our phone when we're, you know, working. hosting shows, working, mm-hmm. recording. So I tend to put my phone on vibration. Mm-hmm. You know what I just realized? What? Part of that's because of just the work that we do makes it so we just keep most of it on vibrate mode, mm-hmm. just because we can't let it ring. Mm-hmm. But something that we don't hear, but other people hear, the ring back tone. So when someone calls you the song oh. that they hear. Here. That is also yeah. very different yeah. between guys and girls. I just realized that. I have, I have, mine has to be perfect. What is yours? <laughs> it's um, it's what was it? Um, young, sexy, and single by Rita Ora. Oh. I don't think you've heard of it. Yeah. I I actually I haven't heard that song. That's why. That's why. <laughs> you you should check it out. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. So if I if I call you at some point, I'll hear it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> He's gonna call me like straight after the show. <laughs> mm, we'll see. But then I mean, like for guys though, I feel like they pick something that's very like manly, very strong. Mm. Whenever you know people have that ring back tone, it's usually like 
the strong hip hop song or the R and B song. And when yeah. I when you call a girl, it's very like nya 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 nya. This is this kind of song. <laughs> Am I right? I, I think know. yeah, sort of. If you could set a song as mm-hmm. a song that people hear when they call you, would you set it as something very like? Yo, uh, from the front, like this kind of stuff, where it's like, I think that that right? helps set that, mm-hmm. right? And more, not like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like a girly like R and B tone. <laughs> what is All he right. doing? So I, no, I think we've covered this pretty well, though. Like the mm-hmm. difference, kind of, yeah, this kind of differences yeah. between these kind of devices. All right, so now let's take a song before we move on to our next one. The song is Maum by IU. We're back, and we just heard Mom by IU. And you're listening to our corner, Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus, with Jane and Tasha. And before we go on to our next message, we have um, some reactions for what we're discussing. We have uh, Leon Tiel from Singapore saying, Yes, girls love to organize their phones. My sister has folders too, and she personalizes her phone so much. She has beautiful keyboards and fonts on her phone. Mm. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. Fonts! fonts. We completely forgot to... Talk about that. Girls' phones really have like the bubbly font. Yeah, I don't know. Bubbly font. No, because like you have to buy some of them. Yeah, mm, right? You, do you buy fonts? No. Oh, okay. Do uh, you buy fonts? No. No. <laughs> so <not laughs> that was, that was like, <laughs> no, but but we know what you're talking about. Like, yeah. like, like some a girls lot do of that. my friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And we have Dian Lee from Korea saying, Jane and Tasha, why ting? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 화상에서 온 건방진 DJ 벤지를 이겨 주세요. Wow. Sorry, 벤지 농담이야. 매우 응원할게요. 화성에서 what's 화성? I, just 화성, I think it's like universe. Universe. Right? No. Is that right? I, I have no idea. We're all bad at Korean. <laughs> no, no, no. 화성 actually means Mars. Oh. Come on, guys. Keep up with the program. Okay, You're the okay. one who asked. <laughs> well, I just wanted to check if you guys knew Korean. It says, um, Benji from Mars uh, beat him. Right. But you guys can't beat me. And I think we're already beating him. I mean, this is not a competition, guys. <laughs> this is a corner to talk about the differences between men and women. If we were going to do it, we would have said men are from Mars and always win, while women are from Venus and... Huh. Moving on. Jane, right. can you read our next message? <laughs> the next message is from Choi Sori from Korea. I suddenly got the feeling that men and women are really different at a really strange moment. It was at the singing room, Norebang. which is Norebang. It suddenly dawned on me that my girlfriends are the ones that really don't care who is around them or if anyone is listening and they just go, they just let it go and have fun. We sing really loud, obnoxious songs and dance around, not caring about our image. But guys seem to pay attention to their image a lot more than we do. The two guys that we went to the singing room with sang ballads and other songs that made them sound good, (laughs) which were mostly slow songs. In the end, these slow songs brought down the mood and we all decided to leave, although we still had some time left. Why are guys like that? Why do they want to show off when we're at the singing room? Mm. Is there anyone else that guys like to show off and put an Im- put up an image? Anywhere else. Anywhere else. Mm. Yes. Everywhere. Guys always <laughs> have an image. We have something called image control. Don't girls have it too? No, not really. Really? So, what, are you wearing makeup right now? Yeah. Okay. No, like, Did you dress up well? Different. I mean, okay. First of all, for the situation, for the Lorebang situation, mm-hmm. this does exist. I've done it. Girls do it too, though. But mostly guys. It's because when we go to Lorebang, just guys, mm-hmm. of course we're going to sing, you know, the fantastic baby roll, and then, you know, we're <laughs> jumping up and down. Mm-hmm. But then when we're with a girl, obviously there's going to be differences because especially if it's a girl that we have a little bit of interest in. Mm-hmm. Because oh. we go to a Lorebang to ha- sing and have fun. But then... In another way to phrase it is, it's a place to show off our singing ability, right? Mm-hmm. Which means when it comes to girls, <laughs> I'm not going to sing a song that goes, I'm not going to do this, because it's not attractive. <laughs> For a guy's perspective, guys have to be cool. Mm-hmm. You guys get that, right? For a girl, sort a cool of. guy's cool, right? Well, when I first read this message, the first thing that came up in mind was the last time I went to Norebang to singing room with Aaron. Mm-hmm. And oh. I don't know if you know Aaron very well. I don't know if Tasha do- does, Not but Aaron's very competitive. Mm. No. You, do you know that? He's very competitive. So, like, he tries to pick out all the good songs, like the songs that he's been practicing mm. in the practice room. And he's, like, trying all his best, put all his energy into this. And you know how, like, um, the score comes oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't really care about the score, just mm-hmm. as long as I sing the whole song and just release my stress. Mm-hmm. This guy, he's like, 
I, I'm just like trying to put on the next song. He's like, no, no, no. I need to wait for the score. <laughs> and if he gets like 95 and I get like 80, he's just like, try to beat that Jane. <laughs> oh, that dude, I knew that. You know, I you know? don't get that. I'm not but like that. It's competition. No, but it, this was really funny because he actually prepared a song. Like, not just for the norebang, like, for the singing room, but he was, like, practicing the mm-hmm, song, mm-hmm. and he was looking for it. I was just like, Aaron, what are you looking for? And he's like, it's this song by Beast. I was, like, practicing really, like, I was practicing a lot, and I was like, what is it called? He's like, 1220. I was like, 12, dude, <laughs> it's not 1220. Uh, you went 10 minutes faster. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> oh, 10 minutes faster. <laughs> He's like, that's funny. Oh, okay, my bad. It's 12.30. But, yeah, the guy was actually good. How do you practice oh. that song where it goes, You're two, she's hum, she pull, and she get... And then he's like, I'm looking for 12.20. 12 what is 12.20? I was like, Aaron, what's 12.20? He's like, ah, you're two, she's hum, she pull, you I want to hear him sing that song. He's Me actually too. really good. Oh, really? really? Yeah. So he's a vocalist as well. Yeah, he's not bad at singing, but he's he never sang here. He's yeah. the Chris Brown of New East. Hmm. Oh, he actually also sang... um. Chris Brown song as well. Ooh. What was it? Um, I need you. Boo. Gotta have you're bringing up the competition <laughs> fire in me. You know that, right? You're all among guys right see, now. Guys wow. are like this. We're gonna call him in. We're gonna call. Hey guys, I know you guys have been wanting to see Aaron for a while, right? You know, soon. <laughs> hopefully, I'm gonna call him in here. We'll have a singing battle, <laughs> and you know, we're gonna get points on you. Well, like when I'm in the singing room, I'm just like go crazy, all mm. in. I don't care how good or bad I sound. Right. I scream my head off. What are you like, Tasha? I mean, if I, I'm with someone that I'm comfortable with, I would just do that too. Just have fun and not think about anything else. So then, do you care about the points in a norebang? No, because I don't, I don't think that is kind of accurate. It's just, I don't think it's I co- true, I right? totally agree with you. It's you not know, accurate. Yeah, you just need to like say, just say the lyrics out loud right. and you'll get 100%. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> no, it's not a lie. <laughs> No, I mean, I went to a norebang with mm-hmm. my, my squad, so my B.I.G. crew. Mm-hmm. And then I sang Nun Koi. Mm-hmm. And then I sang really well. Okay. And I got 56 points. <gasps> oh, burn. Are you what serious? What do you mean, burn? I'm a singer. I can sing. Exactly, burn. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> And then some guy's like, yeah! He's just like screaming everything, and he got like 90-something. Right. See, mm-hmm. I told you, it's just not- be loud mm-hmm. and get the lyrics clear. You don't need to sing it, just say mm-hmm. it. And you'll get 100%. This is like my confession time. I'm like, I'm so upset. And they're kind of helping <laughs> yeah. me through it. Wait, so girls, when they go to Norebang with a guy they like or they're interested in, mm-hmm. they still just, you know, do the same stuff? Or would you, wouldn't you? would you do something a little bit different? A little? Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you wouldn't go like, nah, nah, nah. You'd be like, you try to sing the, nah, 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 What is up with him? Nah, 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 I don't know any girls' songs. <laughs> But right, right, right? No, but then at the same time, like, when I'm singing in front of guys, mm-hmm. I don't want to see the score. Because you don't want to be embarrassed yeah. about the score. See, where, exactly. Whereas the guy is like, yo, you need to check my score. I'm this good. You know? Yeah, but see, that's the, that's the difference between guys and girls. Mm-hmm. We still have the same kind of uh, we still have the same kind of a drive because we want to have that high score. Mm-hmm. But the difference is, for girls, they don't want to know. Yeah, mm, it doesn't they, matter. Mm. You don't want to know about like what the score is, but for guys, we want to show it. We want show the score as a board. We got this many points. <laughs> yeah. Respect me as a singer, kind of uh-huh. thing. Right. Uh-huh. Anyway, so it is almost time for us to wrap things up already. Our mm. first time doing this corner, it was how was it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just like mm. no, no, no. <laughs> Benji's weird today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was good. It was good. 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 It was good. I mean, really fun. It was fun. It was okay. Mm-hmm. It's a little different from our other corner. Very different. Because that was about you know stars and stuff, but now it's a little more about guys, girl stuff. So mm-hmm. right. I think we have like a lot to talk about. I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah, and not just because like gender difference. Mm-hmm. It's also just like personality right. as well uh-huh. and culture. Mm-hmm. So I think we'll have a lot to talk about. And next time, you guys should be nicer to me. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so... Maybe uh, you should bring us, like, some drinks later. Okay, next time. I got it. I'll bring drinks. No, yeah. I was joking. No, I'll bring it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I feel right. so bad. So, next time, I bring drinks. And sending Jane and Tasha out, we'll listen to a song. The song is Pay No Mind by Medean featuring Passion Pit. And I will see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.
We're back, and it's now time to reveal the answer for Double A Music Quiz from the first hour, and the answer is price tag. And now our lucky winner is congratulations, Jedit Tambio Renee from the Philippines. Please send us a message with your name, address, phone number, the date you were chosen, and email address on our message board under the title "Winner." Our AA Music Quiz present is Florence and the Machines' album, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, provided to us by Universal Music. And now let's check out two songs requested by our listeners now. Yunita Suinyo from Indonesia wants to hear Takoloso by Electro Boys. And Yuki Tang of Vietnam wants to hear E Hopeless Love by Pak Jimin. And it's time to say goodbye. Our last song for today is All of You by Betty Who. This was Benji of B.I.G. And as always, I'll be back.